going live in five, four, three, two, one. Well, what if we were actually live all the time? Oh, interesting point of view. Um, how many of us have actually got some sort of commitment to uh, be stuck in this reality, to be part of this reality? Um, I'm in Japan, I'm in Tokyo, and like uh, I was walking with a friend back from breakfast, and um, I didn't even look at the little red man that says, don't cross the road, I just crossed the road, and she said, you are such a bad Japanese. And I talked to her, and it was so funny, because um, I, I said to her, it, it's amazing, people in Japan will stop at the red light um, and not cross the street, but they will walk up the middle <laughs> of a road <laughs> in, into oncoming traffic. It is really frigging weird, and that's... That's this reality, there's all these rules and regulations that we try to fit into. And is that really working for you? Um, at the uh, Choice of Possibilities class with Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here, because <laughs> they're sharing the class this time, how does it get any better than that? Um, and yesterday was a really fascinating conversation and it was the first time that I really heard it and it was about uh, creating conscious consciously and what I've found is that I've looked at a, a lot of people that are very inspiring in this reality people like Richard Branson who have made a truckload of money you know and um, thinking that they are creating consciously and that's not always the case so who have you put up on a pedestal thinking that they're creating consciously when actually they're still creating a lot from this reality. When we do that, we cut off our magic. Is that working for you? Do you enjoy cutting off your magic? So one of the things that I'd like to really talk to, really address today is this idea of receiving. Receiving, 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 receiving. What, what the fuck does receiving mean? Um, in this reality, it's the sex or no sex universe. And sex here is about, is about, it's actually about receiving. When you're willing to be in that receiving mode, it means your barriers are down. It means the kindness, the caring, the nurturing, the, protect, the protective energies that we have. And thank you for all of those beautiful little hearts. I love them. What else is possible? Um, but so many of us have got these points of view and ideas and projections and expectations and we try to predict what our future is going to be like rather than being in receiving mode and receiving the possibilities of the future. So right now, we have to have a look at receiving in that it is the money is there. The money is always there. The money is there. Are you willing to have it? Are you willing to receive it? To do that, you have to be willing to lower your barriers. So let's do that right now. If you're watching right now and you're not driving, well, if you're watching and you're driving, then that might not be a good thing. <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching right now, what if you just close your eyes just for a few minutes? And just get that sense of your body. Your body is this miraculous, magical wand that we take for granted, that we overlook, that we project all sorts of judgments on on a daily basis. And let's just let's just pull in the energy of gratitude for our bodies. Maybe if you have the possibility, you could put your hands on your body right now. Just feel it. And just lower your barriers. And my beautiful friend Shannon O'Hara says in one of her exercises about lowering your barriers. Even if they don't go all the way down, it's not important. It's the asking that's important. Maybe see one of the earlier videos about asking you shall receive. 
lower your barriers to you and your body. Now let's ask our bodies to contribute to creating the $10,000 in nine days. After all, it's our bodies that wear the bling. It's our bodies that like to fly from one country to another. It's our bodies that like mountain biking. It's our bodies that enjoy what money can create for and with us. Let's just ask our bodies now. Body, would you be willing to contribute to creating that bonus 10,000 in nine days? Everything that doesn't allow that, let's destroy and uncreate it all. Good and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, one eye, short boys and girls. So what if you, you can open your eyes now. What if you, what if you actually add that to your energy ball? See previous video. I love that. It's like, oh, we've done that one already. See previous video. Um, and when you're doing your energy ball each day, each morning, each evening, on the train when you're bored, and that's that's basically when I'm doing it now. It's sort of like there are times in my day where you know I have to wait in line uh, at the airport or something like that. And instead of me going, oh my God, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, I'm buying into everybody else's reality, I can either go into question or, or I can start using one of these energy balls that I'm creating and just take that time, which seems to change things on the line as well. Interesting. Um, and add that component of your body into the energy ball. And everything that doesn't allow you to have an amazing amazing communion with your body can we now destroy and uncreate it all oh, good and bad right wrong pop pop all nice short boys and girls. i'm gonna leave it there because uh there's some really great tools in this little video um please use them or not it's your choice and what else is truly possible if yesterday we had i was asking for 10 million what if a hundred million people had access to these tools to make ten thousand dollars that'd be like something like a trillion dollars cre create created with consciousness creating consciously it's the biggie in my reality at the moment what if you were willing to create consciously what if every choice that you made was always going towards creating consciously and everything that doesn't allow that can we now destroy and uncreate it all, please? Thank you. Good and bad, right, run, pop, pop, all night, your boys. And bye bye. Beyonds.